Hi guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back. Today I'm going to do an orange piece in the nine piece set I've been working on. And so far I've done the red, the pink, and the yellow. So now I need the orange to go between either the pink and the yellow or the red and the yellow. I'm not sure which one's going to go first, but I don't have very many shades of orange. I know it looks like I have a lot here. I don't know if you can see all that but some of them are the same shades just mixed a little bit differently the canvas looks crooked to me but I leveled the camera with the canvas this one shouldn't take a very long time and I may just speed it all up for you so it doesn't take a long time because it's very similar to what I've been doing that is Mars black and some neutral gray and some Payne's Gray. And some silver. Actually, what I wanna put down next is this Titanium White with Coconut Milk Hair Serum. This will cause the cells and the lacing around the edges that I like. Whoops, and I dropped it. Some silver, metallic silver. Some of my shades are getting very low. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do more of these pieces in this set next week or if I'm going to have to do something different next week while I wait until I can buy some new colors. That's the Mars Black again. And some Prussian Blue just for a little bit of difference between the black and the gray and the white. And now I'll go with my colors in the middle. Um, and like I said, I have a bunch, I have oranges, but I don't have very many shades. A couple of them are the same thing, just mixed differently. This is Cadmium Orange, and this one is from Windsor & Newton. I do have this shade in Liquitex Basics as well, but that's the one that I have mixed. And this is an orange yellow, which is a Creative Inspirations, which is just a lighter shade. Whoops. And then this is Peach by Master's Touch. It's actually called Flesh, I think, but I don't agree with Flesh being that peachy, orangey color, so um, I just call it Peach. And then this, for a little bit of dimension, this is Cadmium Red Light Hue. I used it in my red painting as well, but it looks very orangey. I was afraid maybe it would look more red against this, but it actually looks orangey against the oranges, so that's cool. And this is Cadmium Orange plus Iridescent White. This is a Liquitex Basics Cadmium Orange, and I mixed it with Iridescent White, which is also Liquitex Basics. And since it's separated from the other cadmium orange I used, I don't know how similar it looks. But it did have, like I said, some um, iridescent white in there as well. This is orange yellow again, but it's mixed with a different pouring medium than the first one. It is the um, Creative Inspirations. And this is that peach again, and I think it's mixed with iridescent medium. Sorry, I think it's mixed with iridescent medium and coconut milk hair serum. And then lastly, we have orange yellow, which is also Creative Inspirations, but it's mixed with pearl essence. And those are all very light colors towards the end. So let's put a little bit more cadmium orange and the cadmium red light hue for some dimension. And I'll move these. Whoops, I totally forgot. I have copper and bronze to put in as well. I totally forgot. Copper. And bronze 
for some darker metallic. I know I'm already running over, but I use those strips for other stuff. Um, I move those colors out of the way, and I'll fill in with my titanium white with coconut milk hair serum. And this is the color that I will blow over my little rainbow. And grab my hair dryer and see what happens. Sorry, I knocked you down. I'm going to have to fix that. Glad you didn't fall in my painting. Okay. Sorry about that. I knocked the camera off and I reset it. So hopefully I can still finish what I was doing. Okay, I kind of like that, but I was kind of, I always have trouble with this spot right here, the underneath of the rainbow spot. Um, I think today what I want to do is, let me check my corners and then I'll see. Whoops. Okay, so my shirt got in it. Um, and I was already thinking about redoing it, so I will redo it. I know with the red one I just left it, and it's, it's okay, but it's not what I want. So we'll just redo it. Um, I'll go black. And gray. Maybe. And Payne's gray. I like this orange part, but I don't like this gray part here. And then my shirt got in the bottom of it. So we're just going to redo it. And silver. Yeah, that's fine. And some more black. Actually, we're going to do the white. Black. and Prussian blue. And we're gonna do the oranges again. Um, we're gonna do them lower. I don't know if that's lower than before, but below where that orange is right now. That was cadmium orange, peach, orange yellow, Cadmium red light hue, which is very orangey. Um, the orange yellow with pearlescence. Um, 
I don't know if I can get that out. I don't know that I can get any more of that out. That was the cadmium orange with iridescent white. Iridescent peach. Don't think I can get that out. No, sorry, copper and bronze. I know that's the part I liked from before, but that's a That's the white I like to use with the coconut milk hair serum because it makes the cells. So we'll have to see what we can get now. trying to level the paint out. Maybe I should have left it alone before. I still have a lot of white right there. Um, hmm. I think maybe um, I kind of like it, but I just don't, there's this huge white section right there that I don't care for. I think maybe next time what I may do instead of all of the white like under the rainbow I may do bring the black and the gray and all that right up to that so that whenever it blows this way it'll be more of that and put the white heavy over the rainbow and put more of the black and grays under the rainbow so that whenever it blows, this is more of the black and gray color. I'm tempted to put some more on to do that, but I don't have a lot of paint left in a couple of the colors, and I have a lot of paint on the table already. Just wish this wasn't so white right here. right here I could maybe blow that over and blow it back but I'm afraid of what that might do I mean the paint will level back out as it dries I just kind of wish I I wish this big white section wasn't here But maybe if I saw it from your view, whenever I edit the video and I see it upside down to what it looks like to me right now, maybe it looks fine. Okay, I've decided just to leave it alone. I think as it dries, where it's heavier over here will come back in. And I think whenever I look at it again later, this white won't bother me so much because it just breaks up the painting so it's not all orange um, or black. So I think I will like it once I leave it alone. And I think that's it for this one. I'm going to torch. This one did end up a little bit longer than I expected. I didn't end up... I didn't anticipate doing it twice. But I just didn't really like it the first time. It was okay. 
But then I was trying to touch stuff up and my shirt got in it and there was a mark down here. And I like this one better, I think. I always say that and then I go back as I edit the video and re-watch it. I find it that I liked it better other times or that what I initially said is not how I feel. So I will know more as it dries. And I can't wait until I get all nine of the ones done that I want to do. I can't wait to like line them up and see if they go together or not or if I like them together. But I know now that instead of like the white real heavy underneath my rainbow shape, I need to do more of the darker colors so that I don't have this big white section there. Unless I want the white section there. Um, if I change it now in the process of making this set, it may not make the rest of them fit with this set, so I may do it this way for now. But this nine piece set is me, this nine piece set is me practicing so that I know what I want to do whenever I do a three piece set that I have a requested commission for. Um, so I'm practicing and learning I learn a little bit more each time and I think that like I said as the paint levels back out and fills more in in the center I think I'll like it like this the white is bothering me less and less as I sit here and talk so this is just practice I the next color that I have in mind to do is greens but I don't know if I'm gonna do that on Tuesday or not or if I'm going to do couple of different pieces next week to take a break from doing these because I'm not sure if I have enough of all of my colors and I can't buy new colors for a couple of weeks so come back on Tuesday to see what I decide to do on Tuesday and let me know in the comments below what you think about this one and if you've seen any of my other ones on these 6x11s, let me know if you think this one will go with those or if you think they'll all be completely different, which they may all be completely different. So that's all for this one. Thanks as always for watching. It wasn't as short as I thought it would be, but I still enjoyed it and I still like it. So that's all, I guess. So have a blessed day. Bye. Okay, I know you saw it upside down to this the entire way that I made this painting because my camera is always upside down when I record versus when I do the close-up. But I just wanted to show you the close-up from my side of the table, which is how I see it until I do the editing. Right here, I see a woman's face and I see her very long hair like she's shaking out her hair like she just got out of a pool of water and she's shaking out her hair to kind of spray all of the water off of it. I don't know if you see that or not. It even looks like she has on like a red swimsuit top and maybe maybe it's a dress because it looks like red down there at the bottom too. That's really cool. So now I like it. Once I see something in a piece that reminds me of something where I can say oh that looks like this then I like it a lot better. I don't know if I'm the only one that does that or if that's what every artist thinks or everyone thinks when they look at art. But with abstract art, you can see anything in these paintings and that's why I love abstract art so much. And then um, also with abstract art, there kind of looks like another little face. Also with abstract art, a hundred people can look at the same piece and see something different. So. That's why I like this type of art so much. Let me know what you see. Let me know what you think. This white, so much white bothers me a little bit, but I think it's kind of good next to her getting out of the water. It's like a wave or something. So I, it adds to the piece. If I tried to get rid of that, I would have lost that part. So I'm glad I didn't.
All right, this one is a little bit longer than normal for my details. But there's a whole lot of cells and lacing, a lot of lacing through there, which I like. That's why I use the white with the coconut milk hair serum because I want all of that lacing and those, the lacing and the cells and all of that is what kind of makes the different patterns or designs in the piece for me. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And thanks as always for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye.